morning, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And uh, I would have to start by welcoming you all. As Augusto said, I'm the CEO of ICEP Global Parks. We are a state-owned enterprise under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which manages business parks, including this one. But I have to have to start by saying thank you to José Barros from Anacom. Um, José Barros is the, um, how to put it, is the opposite of the unfair stereotype of a public servant. He's always putting more sand in his wagon, he's always trying to do more for the country, a patriot, and now helping us also launch this uh, cluster here in, uh, in Sinj. I know this firsthand because I myself work in Anacom for four years. I worked for him, he was my boss, so I know he's a team leader, and I'm very thankful that he brought this conference here and that he's push, helping us push this uh, uh, Singe Tech innovation and digital hub forward. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to bring policy to practice, uh, m making real for a new EU Atlantic data gateway. We elected this sector here in Singe because we believe we have all that it takes to create this it and hub. We have land, available government land for land use rights in quantity, able to accommodate any kind of investment and scale it up. And then we have all the other uh, conditions that are required to set up a hub with uh, cable landing stations and data centers. <coughs> this park is um, actually the biggest uh, business park in the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, for those of us who are here, it's very obviously a big energy cluster. Um, but we have been developing a specific, um, a specific site for data centers and cable ending stations. We've allocated 240 hectares for that purpose, and we identified that this being a big industrial park hosting Portugal's energy sector and chemical industry, there was already a lot, of, um, a lot of infrastructure that we could build on to serve the it and um, entrepreneurship and business community. That being electricity, supply of water, supply of natural gas, all this with high debit and intensity to make, us, to make it possible to accommodate this kind of investments. Portugal has abundant optic fiber. We are well connected to Spain. We are well connected to Europe. It seems is well served by the, by, by the companies that offer uh, optical fiber in Portugal. And this is being uh, further developed with a lot of investment going on. Here at the um, industrial and logistical uh, zone of Singe, we have a comprehensive electricity transmission grid in place. We are probably one of the few places in Western Europe where you can easily set up your 400 kV lines to supply your data center. And we are currently working on new lines. We are working on new lines for 150k, 400k, KV. We're doing that with our customers. We're doing that also by ourselves to service our clients, our big industries settled here in the park, and also uh, some smaller investor investments to service the, the big harbor that we are integrated with, the harbor of Singe. And because we know that um, big tech requires you to supply them with green power added capacity. We've been working to set up a renewable energy community in Singe, in our business park, to make sure that we can bring those electricity costs as low as possible and have them come from renewable sources. We don't do this ourselves, but we've been, in, we've been creating the the renewable energy community to be supplied by a renewable energy cluster that it's popping up around uh, the region uh, by private developers in private grounds. I give you some examples here in the slide. We also have 
Um, actually, we have a devoted water company. It's a subsidiary of the, the government-owned uh, water company that services the park. We have an abundance of industrial usage water. There is a lot of water circular economy between the industries in the park. And as you can see in the slide, we're currently at 10% consumption capacity, soon to be 5%. And this is in the context of us hosting a lot of energy, uh, a lot of refining, a lot of oil and gas industry in general, a lot of petrochemical industry, a lot of chemical industry. And there is also the second opportunity that comes from this hosting of the energy hub. We have uh, seawater intake and rejections in private facilities that are open for partnerships with the IT&T sector. Uh, when, uh, is the, when, when is the facility that uh, uses seawater for the tankage of uh, LNG in the port of Sinj? owned by the, by, the Portuguese, um, uh, uh, by the Portuguese company that uh, imports, uh, uh, regasifies and distributes natural gas in high pressure. And another one that was the intake and rejection facilities of the now decommissioned uh, coal fire power plant that sits just south of where we are. We work with a system of land use rights on government land. Uh, we can accommodate any size plot. We can build any infrastructure to the plot battery limit. We can work with option contracts. We can work with right of first refusal. We can do all this to accommodate investments of any size. Our traditional plots are actually tailor-made plots according to the investor's needs. And so to sum it all up, as those who are here present in the room know, we are just one hour and 30 minutes away from uh, Lisbon Airport, sitting on a fantastic seashore. Um, and Sinj, Portugal itself, and Sinj in particular at the southwest corner of Portugal, is in a great location to have cables land coming from the Americas, going to the Americas, West Africa and the world. It's a very safe uh, place to land subsea cables because of the seabed topography, because of the seashore, because of the low human activity, because of the special conditions we have being in a harbor jurisdiction and all. So we believe that we gather a lot of uh, conditions that again are probably not easy to find uh, in a lot of locations in Western Europe. And then I would like to point out the four, uh, the four major, um, the four major ad competitive advantages that I believe we have. The connectivity, not only we have LLINX cable landing here on, uh, well, it has landed being inaugurated here on June 1st. Uh, we hope to have more intercontinental cables to come. We have great interland connectivity to Spain and to Central Europe. We have that uh, stable, abundant and redundant supply of electricity in high voltage and extra high voltage. We have this project for a renewable energy community, again, to make sure that you can be supplied by green power at a low cost. And then we have those water options, namely for cooling of data centers. But we're working on more competitive advantages. We're adjusting our building parameters that were designed for the, for the energy and chemical industry. We're adapting them to this industry. We're getting rid of uh, height limits in some cases. We're allowing for larger volume of construction. And we're working, as we always do, on the plot licensing. Uh, we're also working on leading the way for a Portuguese one-stop shop system for subsea cable landing permits. This was the, one of the main issues, I believe, I can say this, Ella Link encountered when they came here to set up their cable landing station and land the cable. We have to thank them for that as well. We have to thank them not only for being the first ones, that's always the hardest, 
to come to Singe, but also for leading the way and to partner with us, which is, you know, um, I can only call it a public-private partnership, and we're working together to improve the conditions and to make this site more attractive for others who come after Link, and it's going to be easier because Link has done all the, all the hard work. And with them as well, we've worked on certifying the land for data centers. We worked with CAPDC to, to do that. And so, in building Synstech Innovation and Data Center Hub, this is what we have now. We have LLink cable landing on June, uh, LLink cable has landed, it's going to be inaugurated on June 1st. Uh, and we have the project for Start Campus um, for a big data center. And we hope we can keep building on this because, uh, you know, um, cable landing stations like data centers and data centers like cable landing stations. So we now have a cable landing station, we have the project for a data center. I guess we can call it, call it a hub. And I know I can count on Philippe Dumont and uh, Diego Matas and all the team from Ellerlink. And I can also count on Alphonse Salim and all the team from Start Campus uh, to push this forward. Thank you very much.